people visit Madhra for its religious experiences, which are really good here, by the way. However, there is way more to Madhra than its temples. I was there recently and explored some of these things, and I bring to you those now in this video. My first, my favorite, and the most important recommendation for Mathura from my side is to enjoy Bhangre. Now, Bhang is actually legal in Mathura, so you can go to a shop and buy Bhang. It's available in many different forms. My recommendation again is to try it in the form of a thandai, which is sort of a cold milk with many different dry fruits as well as Bhang in it. Have two glasses in the morning, two glasses in the afternoon, and two in the evening, and you'll be happy through the day. Here is my second recommendation for Mathura. Walk the streets of Mathura. I always say that the best way to explore a city and its history and its culture is actually on your foot. Walk through the narrow lanes and bylanes of this town and you'll explore completely new town. As you walk, you come across some very interesting things. And that is what brings to our third recommendation. These interesting things are actually small shops. These small shops that sell chaat and gulab jamun and jalebi. Street food is really nice and really tasty. Actually, it's really good across the city. It is a lot more fun when you actually eat it in these lanes with the local people. People will also give you tips on where you should go next, which temple you should try out next, what point exactly on the ghat you should get your dip, and so on. These conversations will actually make it worthwhile for this. My next recommendation is something which nobody has ever talked about. It's the doors of Mathura. When I was there recently, I saw some amazing doors. These are doors to Haveri, these are doors to old temples, these are kind of just doors to an Ilaka or Mahalla. They are absolutely worth checking out. You'll be surprised by what you're missing by not. So go ahead, try some doors. I'm sure many of you would have heard of the terms Kushti, Pehalwan and Akhara. But how many of you actually gone into an Akhara to see a Pehalwan do a Kushti? So this is what brings to my fifth and the final recommendation for Mathura. Mathura has some really interesting Akharas, some very rustic Akharas, right across the river Yamuna in a village. You must go there and see some of these fights. And if you're getting really adventurous, you should wear a langur and jump into the house. <laughs> Do fight a fake fight maybe with one of these pale ones and come back with some broken bones. Tell me how this experience was in my comments below. I hope you found these recommendations interesting and next time when you go to Matra, you must try these out. I hope you like the video as well. So do give me a thumbs up by liking it. Subscribe to my channel because I put up a new India video every week. And finally leave me a comment. Tell me how did you like my video? What else can I do? For now, it's chow time.